One of the strangest creatures that can be found in Japanese mythology is something called the Akaname. Aka means filth or grime, and name means to lick. So the Akaname is literally a filth licker. No, Akaname is not the latest trend in Japanese pornography. Ew. Akaname is a small creature, usually depicted as being red, with a long tongue, and for some reason long toenails and claws, that likes to hang out in unkempt bathrooms. As the name indicates, the filth licker literally licks the filth, grime, guck, mildew, dirt, scum, wood rot, athlete's foot, and whatever other yuckiness accumulates in an unclean bathroom. You see, the Akaname will wait until everybody's asleep and then go to the bathroom and start licking away. And that's pretty much it. He doesn't choke children with his super long tongue. He doesn't threaten to stab people with his toe claw thing. He just licks filth. He's a filth licker. He's just kind of gross. I suppose mostly the story is used to encourage children to help clean the bathroom so that they don't walk in there sometime at night and find some creepo licking up on all the walls. Which seems a bit counterintuitive. I mean, if Akaname's in there licking up on all the grime anyway, then why bother cleaning? You don't have to clean so you're happy. Akaname gets a nice mildewy treat so he's happy. It's win-win. The Akaname story also carries with it a metaphor that refers to the Kokoro no Aka, or filth of the heart, which basically means that just as you should have a nice, pristine, clean bathroom, you should also keep your heart clean and not be a bully or be too selfish. Because the last thing you want is an Akaname coming around and licking up on your heart. According to some accounts, Akaname will also lick the filth from sick people who are infirmed or bedridden and unable to properly bathe themselves. Which is quite charitable of the Akaname, but might actually be a bit nastier than licking an unclean bath. And I don't know if the sick people are into it, but that could be quite a pleasant experience for everyone involved. So again, win-win. In general, Akaname is seen as a completely harmless, if not creepy, creature. But if you don't want him coming around, maybe just clean the place up a little bit.